Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are doing another Forzathon guide. Now this is the third Horizon Anniversary Forzathon um, which again using the cover car uh, and for Horizon 3 that was a 2016 Lamborghini Centenario LP770-4. Now it will set you back and cool 2.3 million credits uh, but you can find it in the auction house for a little bit cheaper um, if you can quickly snap one up um, now i have created a tune for it as i normally do it's called forzathon evg now obviously it's an already insane car but i figured i'd just make it a bit more crazier by sticking a twin turbo on it and it's producing 1500 brake horsepower now the first challenge here just wants you to win two road circuit events which is very very easy so filter your map to show you road circuit events and as per usual I head over to the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit now as you may know I've already created a race way way back which is just one lap um, which will solve solve this very quickly um, so it makes life a lot easier now if you want to search for it you can see there at the very bottom there is a share code when you go into search now the share code for this one is 676155178 so all you have to do is type that in and this race will pop up or you can create your own blueprint but obviously one lap just makes life a lot easier um, and I'm on expert difficulty which is why I start sort of further at the back of the pack and which is also why there is Ford Focus RS's up against the Lamborghini Centenario uh, as well as Audi TT's which is just absolutely bonkers but anywho um, that's probably why it looked a little trickier because of the difficulty level but because this is a Forzathon you can do it on whatever difficulty level you want so it's fairly easy there now the next challenge just wants you to earn five pass skills which again is actually very very easy and all I'm going to do for this one is go back into the same race so after you've won two just go back into the Moorhead farm, wind farm circuit race again um, and you can open up either the standard three lap or you can use the one lap blueprint again it's entirely down to yourself um, but again all you have to do is get five pass skills uh, very simply for those that are unaware a pass skill is literally when you overtake someone but it has to be in a race it can't just be in free roam um, so this is another very very easy challenge as you saw I started in about seventh or eighth position and as soon as you get to that you'll get the challenge so that one will literally take you 15 seconds a very very nice quick and easy one there now the final one just wants you to earn 12 stars in total from PR stunts now obviously the PR stunt is anything from a speed trap speed zone drift zone or a jump um, and you can pick whatever you want but if I'm honest there's only really one for it and that is down here as you can see there is a speed trap called Astmore and for three stars it wants you to get 140 mile an hour which in the Centenario is nothing. So this is probably the quickest and easiest way to get uh, stars on PR stunts. Using this speed trap all you have to do is get three stars on one run, stop, turn around, get three stars and all you have to do in total is do that four times and you'll get your 12 stars uh, so this one will literally take no longer than one minute basically uh, for this car it's absolutely nothing it will dominate this challenge um, very very nice quick and easy so this third horizon anniversary falls thon is probably the quickest out of them all um, it does not take very long at all you don't even have to tune the centenario because it's already a bonkers car but i figured well it's a lamborghini we've got to make it even more bonkers so we'll slap a twin turn turbo on there and get 1500 brake horsepower out of it um, but like I said it does set you back a fair amount of money if you don't have one already which I didn't uh, especially if you're only going to use it for this challenge but obviously I like completing my Forzathons so if you definitely want to complete your festival playlist as well uh, I would recommend doing it but like I said it is quite costly but check the auction house out I know some of them are crazy buyouts but if you get the sort of bids you might be able to get one just last minute uh, for under two two million even but i just went and bought one out because i couldn't be asked for that um but anyway guys i hope this ch um, guide has helped you out uh if it has please please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel also i hope you enjoyed the first episode of sunday drives which i aired last sunday um episode two will be coming out this sunday and if you want to comment on what car should be in there get on that video and comment as soon as possible um so i can pick the favorite comment Anyway, like I said, a massive thank you guys, all the best and take care.